Lucifer is referred to as the Lord of the Air, the Lord of the East, the Morning Star. Occultists have made the group Order of the Morning Star, an order of the Eastern Star, because Lucifer is considered by Satanists, it's right there in the Satanic Bible of Anton LaVey, as the Lord of the East. So the Order of the Eastern Star is a reference to Luciferian thought, just like the founders of this nation with their philosophies and their famous sayings, like give me liberty and give me death, no taxation without representation. Think about it. The Christian says, render taxes unto Caesar. That's what Jesus said. He said, whose, whose face is this on the back of the coin? Render unto Caesar that which is his. While the American famously says, no taxation without representation. The Christian says, thou shall not steal. While the American famously dumps tea off the boat, dressed as a pagan Native American. You know, dressed as Indians, you know, Native Americans, pagans. And I'm not saying they're bad people, but when you look at this thing for what it is, it is very obvious. When you look at Hume and Locke, you look at Voltaire, you look at Enlightenment era philosophers, what they're saying, why, what are the commonalities? So when you have a secret society structure like masonry working in unison based on commonalities, science, philosophy, and religious practices and spirituality, what do you get? We live in a Luciferian society and Luciferianism is the secret doctrine of America. And most people don't connect this, that, and this, and that because they're compartmentalized. And when you see what is going on in the black community, you see conscious movements, Hebrew Israelites, you see controlled black churches, because just because you're a black Christian doesn't mean you're above the influence of the New World Order. You know, every major religious and spiritual movement is controlled by Luciferians to an extreme degree. Not entirely, because can one ever truly control anything entirely? No, only God but it is controlled ridiculously. And so the idea is for the people who used to talk about the oppressed minority, you know, not referring to racial minorities, but philosophical minorities, have become the oppressive minority. And they are oppressing the majority because they know that a well-informed public would never agree to living by the cultural values of Luciferians, living by the philosophy of people who make phony tests, you know, that give certain races the upper hand, you know, certain groups of people, the people that think like them, who have adopted to their society and their education system, you know, the people who are more inclined to feel free to be like them, the people who think like them are gonna do better on the IQ test. So it is perceived intellect using an oppressive Luciferian Western scale. When you look at the IQ test and when you look at what the Masons and other people are saying when they say value intellect over superstition, it is Western ideas of intellect from the governing class, which not all white people even agree upon, okay? And we look at the age of realism and pragmatism in this nation, the pragmatic era, and how it relates to the age of realism, the age of romanticism, the age of enlightenment. Once you put things into historical context and you connect the dots in a way that you is definitive, that you know there's not speculation, you see who the editors were of Lucifer. Uh, the Morning Star magazine, Madame Vlatsky of the Theosophic Society and where that overlaps with the New Age movement. And how feminists are a part of it, how the gays are pushing it, how the atheists were part of the Age of Enlightenment. And, they, and, pe and the ultimate goal, as stated by Pike, was that, look, for the same reason the Enlightenment era philosophers, many of them, the famous ones, were turned off by atheism 
is the same reason why Christianity and atheism will destroy each other and it will leave society ripe for a new direction and we will already have created a system and a society that will be inclined and ripe to accept the Luciferian doctrine. This was not speculation. When they said, oh, the Taxo host, the, the Taxo host does not account for Albert Pike's morals and dogma. It's right there in their own books. When you said that the Taxo host was a hoax by this man to convince you that there was a Masonic conspiracy when there wasn't and it was debunked, it makes no sense because right there in the same encyclopedia articles, you see that Masons themselves, right there in Morals and Dogma, said Lucifer is the light bearer. And unfortunately, Adonai is God. When you truly look at what they're getting at, absolutely. Pike said flat out that there is no devil who is opposed to God, who's in eternal conflict with God, but rather they work together. So therefore, God, when you look at what else they're saying, when they cite the Bible, I believe it was Isaiah, where he says he created evil, they, they look at God from a deistic point of view, a dualistic point of view, as a dualistic deity who is not all good, but rather balances good with evil, as above, so below, and in unison, in concert, in collaboration. Ultimately, the black community will perish, as the Bible has said, for lack of knowledge, for not knowing what I have stated in this video alone, and for not having the moral will to see through the Masons' desperate attempt to reconcile Western occultism with African spirituality. An attempt that has confounded the efforts of righteous Christians around the world. An attempt which will be successful to a certain degree until it hits every black occultist that Chukwu Mecca was right. That now we have a world where black people look at white people as spiritually superior and not just mentally, or excuse me, not just financially superior and politically and superior in other ways but they will look at them as superior in every way because the white man will have done eugenics on them okay and so the white people who used to think like black people quote unquote will now think like white people and the black people who used to think like me will now think like white people when they look at people and judge them with their scale they will look and see a world where the tall black man has been screened out where the revolutionary black man has been screened out. The black man with hearts, you'll have a bunch of effeminate, weak black men who on average are less physically impressive than the white races and the Jews who have done eugenics on them. You will have the black people in an inferior position financially and they will look at other races as people who use the same occult principles to outmaneuver them in society. And as science has achieved brainwashing society the rest of the way into believing that science has solidified the point of the Mason. What will happen then?